All right, everybody, welcome back to SSX Blur! Easily the second best motion control boarding game I've ever played. And yes, I have played two. One was a hoverboarding game though, and it might not have been the, the best of them after all. So yeah, it's been a little while since I did the first part of this. Unfortunately, I had some issues with the emulator. Um, I tried running about five different versions of Dolphin. None of them works better than this. Um, I also turned off DJ Atomica just because of the fact that he... Um, I mean, he gets interrupted constantly anyways. Because uh, every loading screen will still sort of slow the frame rate down to a crawl. So yeah, just not having DJ Atomica in the game is probably better than to have him in the game. If people really miss him and want him back, I could turn him on again, I suppose. But for now, it's just gonna be the music that isn't currently playing, and I don't know why. That's awkward. What happened with the songs? I mean, Zoe is clearly jamming. The music though, where are you at? Really? Maybe there is no music on this track? That would be a little strange, but... Mm, I guess we'll work with it then. So yeah, every single emulator I tried made the game run worse than... Uh, um, than this one, unfortunately. Um, so... Uh, for me, 5.0 is the best as it gets in terms of Blur and Dolphin as a combination. There are some things that still aren't quite working. I wish they did, but honestly, we're just gonna have to take it. We're gonna have to deal with it. I wish we had um, a little bit of um, uh, better shading work with the emulator because in some areas it gets really bright and I have tried to fix it. I tried fixing it intensely. It just doesn't want to fix itself so I'm starting to suspect there's nothing I can really do about it. Unfortunately while experimenting with the emulators and such that also meant that in the end I ended up completing a little bit of peak 2. But that's alright, because we're gonna do everything over again anyways, so it's fine. Maybe the DJ has to be on for the music to work though? Hmm. Ah, oh, see, now the music returns. Very strange. I will not question this game, this game does the questioning for me, I suppose. Okay, so hopefully the music is gonna stick around. So we did Proud Powder. Uh, I think we wanna do Spring Break. Spring Break is a nice track, right? We're gonna do Spring Break and then maybe Happiness. Yeah, could be good. Okay, where is Spring Break? That's Proud Powder. Ah, there's spring break. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Let's pick up this one and enter the race. Okay, so we got a song. Hopefully the song is gonna stick around. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be cranky. Oh right, proud, pi proud Powder. No, wait, this was Spring Break. Spring Break is Hot Damn in On Tour, right? I think it is. And the music is back on. Look at them jams. And there's Carrie. Nice. 
best girl. So yeah, I also discovered uh, as I was messing around with uh, different emulators and whatever. Ah, please shake. There we go. Uh, I also discovered that it is indeed possible to gold every single event in the game, even without monster tricks, because as unfortunate as it is, I haven't really made any progress whatsoever in terms of um, consistent uber tricks. I've made some attempts at it in the pipes and such, but it's just not 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 quite doable. Maybe one day somehow, some way. Ooh, she's gonna fall off. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have boosted as much as I did, but you know, it's SSX. We gotta go fast. Big air. Honestly, this map, it doesn't look half bad in Blur. I also really like it in On Tour, so that could be an, an effect too, I suppose. Although this is a little sneaky in a race setting, right? To uh, end with such a major big air moment. Because one has to wonder, will the AI catch up with me? But we were safe. Sucks that Atomica doesn't say anything when you reach the goal line though. That's a little sad. I wish it would just jump in and be all, Hey, you completed a goal. So you could only turn off, turn off his um, uh, interlude voices, really. Or his interlude voice. Before the race, before the events. But then have him come in at the finish. Yeah, that would have been nice. Okay, so Proud Powder done, Spring Break done, let's go to happiness, happiness, and I'm forgetting how to control the game again. So yeah, this part might be a little shorter than the first one, it depends, I think Peak 2 is still rather short. Oh, we got Between the Sheets here, okay, sure, let's go get that then, We. ooh, that's not a pre-wind. That's bad. Ooh, half pipe, race. We want to race. I like how the starting area looks. Can't say I'm a huge fan of uh, Between the Sheets in um, Blur. I wouldn't say I'm that much of a fan of it in On Tour either, really. But it's, an, it's a decent track in On Tour. I feel I'm just so biased in terms of on tour because I just tend to like mind the gap and hot damn and then everything else is just kind of eh. It's whatever. It's been so long since I recorded part one now that I can't quite remember what I talked about back then and did not talk about, but yeah. It wasn't just the emulators keeping me gone from making this either. I uh, got sick. And then I got a hospital appointment, and then I was mad after a hospital appointment, and yeah. See, stuff like this right here though, that's something I wish I could fix, because it looks so overly saturated. It's so freaking white, it's just a white screen, basically, minus Zoe. And that's not something I want. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a good fix for it. I'm not sure if it's a result of you turning off the fog either. Because the fog in this game, with the fog on at least, you can't really see anything in Roofless, so I had to disable it. Roofless itself uh, is on peak 3 in this game, and Roofless does look fine without the fog. It doesn't get this overly saturated effect. But then there are a few other tracks that look really saturated, and this is one of them. I also believe Happiness is the second. They just look way, way, way bright. But it is what it is. I mean, it's Blur with a PlayStation 3 controller. Game works. Comes with a bit of lag. It's better than I ever thought it would be, so, you know. We take what we can get, I suppose. It does hurt me see so it looks so freaking sad though. <laughs> uh, okay, so we did 
all of them. So let's go to happiness and then we're gonna start doing the secondary challenges on every track. It's also kind of hard to estimate how long recording will be with how much I have to edit out in the end in terms of loading screens and such. Uh, where did happiness go? That's proud powder. Is it over here? Race. Yes, that's happiness. Happiness has such a weird uh, starting area. But here we are. I still find it quite impressive that this game is indeed very playable. I never thought I would get the opportunity to play Blur, really, because I don't have a Wii. I've never been interested in getting a Wii, even if they are super cheap now. I don't know if they are, but I assume, considering how many people used to uh, own those consoles, I would imagine them to be quite cheap. I wanna snowball him. Oh, okay. Fine. I can't figure out how to knock people down in this game. There are some functions I would like. I, I know you're supposed to be able to do board presses. I don't like board presses. I never liked board presses in any SSX game, so um, I don't care that those don't work. I know people, other people would want for them to work, but for me it's a non-issue that they're not working. On the other hand, I can't do the pivot thing, so I can't use skis in this game. And then some people say, yeah, but Queenie, why would you ever want to use skis in Blur? And sure, they have a point, but on the other hand, it could be fun to just try it, you know? But if I'm gonna ski in this game, I'm gonna be spending so much time riding backwards just due to the controls, so it doesn't feel quite worth it, really. Um... Oh, look at that skybox. But yeah, so uh, I can't pivot with the skis, I can't do board presses, and no ubers. And out of those things, the only thing I really miss... Oh, right, I can't do knockdowns either, yeah. So that's something I would want. I want the ability to uh, knock down people, and I want the ability to pivot the skis. With the ubers, I mean, it would be cool to get them working, considering you can beat the game without them. It's a non-issue for me. Um, and then with the board presses, frankly, I prefer my SSX games without the aspects of comboing and board presses. So for me, I'm happy without. It doesn't appear that this game has a combo system by the looks of things, which I find quite nice since I never really cared for that stuff. Ooh, that's, that's a landing. <laughs> <sighs> in uh, SX 2012 they had a nice combo system though, but that's probably the only game where I've actually liked the comboing system. And that's happiness done, one by miles. Okay, only 320 meters, but you know. Also, so it's got really long hair if you think about it. It doesn't look like it from her pictures, but her character in the gameplay has long hair. She still looks sad, but I like her a little better now. Okay, secondary challenges. I think we want to go to uh, Between the Sheets. Just because we can. All right, good stuff. Hopefully me drinking tea didn't sound too annoying during that cutscene. Okay, let's get some pipe shenanigans. Here we go. Fly high. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> yes, good job. Good job. There we go. That looks a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. I also think I've gotten the hang of uh, switching grabs and such fairly decently in this game. Sometimes it doesn't really quite work the way I want them to, but most of the time it's all good.
Okay, and that's us winning. 700k without monsters or ubers, which is dope. I assume there's only ubers in this game, not monsters. No monsters. I'm not sure. Can we get a million? Nah, there's no way, right? 31 seconds left. Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen, especially not if she's gonna do that. Well, uh, we might get a mil. Yep. Easy enough. A million points without the ability to do Ubers. 450k ahead. Yeah, that's what I call dope. And she crashed into that tree. Aww. But yeah, look at her hair right there. It's really long. Maybe even longer than mine. No, not really. Close enough. All right, we have teleported to Proud Powder, where we're gonna slalom my least favorite event in this game. And look at this white out. So basically, it's gonna be impossible because I can hardly even see where we're going. But we're gonna try. Gate missed. That's fine. I don't think we need to gold this. We need. We just need to. Uh, be good enough to advance. Ah, she missed the gate while falling. With the whiteout, it's almost impossible to see. Okay, so here we have a section where it's a little bit better. So let's try and be fast for this section. Honestly, the fact that I have to slow down as much as I do while slaloming isn't exactly the best experience now, is it? Right, the final one is down there. So let's boost, boost, boost. And maybe we can still win or come second. Oh, right, there's no Atomic. I was waiting for him to reveal our position. But she is fist pumping, so we didn't completely fail. How did we do? Did we gold? Yes, we did! Nice, okay. You know what? I kind of miss DJ Atomica saying if I won or not. Hmm. Well, we'll keep him off for now. Ooh, a stats upgrade. Nice. Uh, I feel tricks is what we want to do. Yeah, let's do that. It's a little sad that Zoe only has one extra outfit. But considering I've seen three of Kaori's outfits, um, I'm proudly gonna say that all of them are absolutely hideous. So I'm a little dreadful for what they will have done to my precious Zoe. But it's gonna be what it is, you know. Did I do Proud Powder? No, I didn't, right? Slope style, yes. No, wait, Slalom. No, wait, we were just here. Oh my god. Yes, so now that we're on the actual track I wanted to go to, let's get this started. This is a little tricky though, because it's a big air, and they clearly intend for you to do monsters and stuff here, right? But we can't do any of that, so we're just gonna have to spin, and we're gonna combo grab, 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 grab. And we've already won. Nice, because we're so cool. That was only heat one though. We got 60k, double what we needed for peak two without Ubers. This game is too easy sometimes. All right. Isn't that the same score this time around? Okay. Okay, let's see. There we go. Nice, 75. You know what? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty fast. Ooh, look at that skybox behind the speakers. It's blood red. What? Zoe, did you bring your demons? 
All right, so the final track of this should be happiness and she's going backwards. Good job, good job, Zoe, good job. I also find it interesting that the maid raises one heat only. Not gonna complain though, not gonna complain. So we need 326k. We can do that. This one didn't say heat one actually, so maybe it's just one heat with this one. Ooh, hello rock. I wish I could get my favorite motion control game to work without motion controls, but I have a feeling that's never gonna happen. So, yeah. I think you just need an iToy play camera for it, or an iToy. Yeah, just the iToy was the name, right? Yeah. You need that. Which is not gonna happen. I used to break so many iToy cameras, or at least I thought I would break them as a kid. But I think it was mostly a case of, hey, this camera ain't working now. And in reality, it was me just not knowing how to make it work if its settings or something reset. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for my poor parents. Oh well, at least iToy cameras were cheap. But yeah, I have played a hoverboard game with motion controls, and that was really dope. I used to love iToy. I would play it all the time with my friends, and I would just become a master at bowling. I was a god of bowling in iToy Play 3. And how was I a god? Well, I found the key to success. I would just stand straight up in the middle. Oh, yikes, I did not let go of that. Hey, get up. There we go. Did not let go of that grab in time. <laughs> but I would just stand straight, straight as a pin, and then I would um, put my palms together in some sort of uh, Thai style greeting or fake prayer emote greeting. And I would just throw my hands in the air and I would punch my poor rice lamp. So I would have so many holes, tiny little holes in my poor rice lamp, which was my only ceiling lamp. But I would get a strike every time, every time. I was so good. But the rice lamp was so sad. And um, yeah, that's the story of how I abused my lamp to death. And one would think, but why didn't you just stand somewhere else? Couldn't you move the lamp? Couldn't you move the camera? No, I had to stand directly under the lamp and punch the lamp. That's just the rules of iToy bowling. Yeah. I'm surprised my parents didn't really lecture me about it, but I suppose they didn't really notice me punching a lamp. Yeah, happiness was pretty quick, pretty achievable. Yeah, 100k over what I needed. All right, so I think that was all of uh, peak two. So now we're gonna do this eagle tournament right here. Uh, so we got Ray Slalom and Half Pipe. And, um, oh right, maybe I should read the entire thing in a dramatic voice. The real proving ground. Speeding this will open up peak free and unveil the secrets of the mountain. After this, all that will be left between you and the grand champion title is a formality. Bitch, please. I beat peak free. Okay, well. This is a, uh, this is a free event tournament. Events include Ray Slalom and Half Pipe. I'm gonna beat this so hard. I'm gonna win. I wanna be the very best. Real proving grounds. Oh man. Uh, are they really gonna make me read the same thing again? No, nah, not gonna do that. So, yes, this should be race, spring break. Let's go. Let's punch some people. Yes! I did something. Woohoo! Oh man, I, I missed. Okay. She's mad anyways, though. I hardly even hit her. Did I hit her? 
Actually, it's probably not a good thing that she's mad, because if she tries to punch me, I have no way of really punching her back. <laughs> Maybe I should have thought of that. Lessons for every greedy child out there. If you're gonna punch someone, make sure that you're able to defend yourself if they come after you. Maybe it's better to not punch them at all then. Lesson learned. But on the other hand, this is a game, so if I want to fake punch people with my snowballs, I'm gonna do that. I did manage to hit JP once when I was playing as Zoe. Okay, so we're gonna stay on this. Ah, oh. so hard staying on it. Oh, what? Hello. That was a bonk. We flying higher than the clouds themselves. That's not true. Okay. Win, Zoe, win. Yes, yes, finally. That's probably the first time I've gotten on those rails. Yeesh. Big air. Yes, angel boost. I assume the angel boost gives you more boost than the other one. But I don't know. Go, go, go! Go with the flow! Easy peasy! We qualify! For me, the real nerve-wracking thing about this isn't really the races, because I think I've got the races pretty wired. Feels that way, at least. And the tricks events should be fine. The tricks should be doable. That said, though, there's gonna be a slalom in this, and it's gonna be the Proud Powder slalom, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's gonna be the same one. And, um, yeah. I'm not sure I can gold the slalom, and I don't know if I have to gold it, or if silver is gonna be good enough. If silver is good enough, I'll be very happy. Oh, please. Thank you. Okay, this is really bad. What did I say about the races being easy? Come on, we need the boost. Come on. And taking so many bad paths. Yes, just go. The rails are probably so much faster if you can be on them and stay on them, but that's all right. We're gonna settle for this. We're gonna miss the boost, but that's also all right because we can just do a long grab there and that should give us plenty. Do a little grab. Oh, what? No, 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 don't go backwards like that. You cannot be doing that. Kauri has the skis on? Bruh. Okay, I probably shouldn't have wasted time just trying to throw a snowball in the face. <laughs> but you know, if you can't beat them legit. There we go. We still beat her with 40 meters. <laughs> That was clutch, though. Alright, so this is Slalom. On Proud Powder, as I expected. And we need to be 207. And there's three heats. Okay. Let's just try. Okay, see? Suddenly, the oversaturation is a little better. Which is, um... Uh, saving grace. But I've been missing a lot of gates, despite the saturation being better. Um, unfortunate, but you know. Okay. How was that gate missed? What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So that gate wasn't missed. Okay. I mean, game. And that gate was apparently not missed either. Okay, here I'm missing a gate. That's fine. Um, boost, boost, boost. Boosting, boosting, boosting is the answer. There we go. Qualified. Nice. What was my time though? Did I win? Ooh. You know what? That's not a bad time. Considering how much I hate the slalom. 
Wait, look at Felix though. Wow. I mean, this is a really comforting thought. Oh, wait, look at Allegra. She's even worse than Felix. Huh? I mean, if you had a very, very bad day, just be sure to remember that the day could be worse. You could be having the day that Allegra had with that score. <laughs> uh, poor Allegra. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This is heat three. We gotta win. Okay, we don't have to win. But we got a silver, I think. Does bron is bronze okay? <laughs> okay, now I'm no longer thinking like a winner. We have to think like a winner. How did I miss that game? What are you talking about? Game. I'm a winner. I win. And I cannot lose. Of course I can, but... No! Wait, that gate wasn't missed. Seriously? This game! How are you counting? It's fine, it's fine. Ooh, that's not fine. <laughs> oh man, slalom! Okay, only one second slower than last time. We won, right? Yes, we won. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. So we wins, Allegra fails. Sorry, Allegra. All right, so between the sheets is gonna be the final moment with a score of 800K. Ooh. We got a mill though, we got a mill before. We got this, we got this. And I think it's okay to come in second, I think. But I'm not sure. Okay. Do all the combo grabs. Do one more. Yes, too late combo grab. Is that the combo grabs, man? They're gonna be the new experimental, really. Do a grab, do a grab, do a grab. <laughs> Swiss cheese. Okay. 90k, 90k. Oh no, no! Oh, okay. Do not press up on the analog stick. We cannot press up on the analog stick. There's no grab on up. Why is there no grab on up? But now I'm holding up though. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's the thing. When you mix the grabs like that, something like that can happen. But it only really happens if I go up. Does it? Maybe I should avoid up. If I'm gonna do up, I'm gonna start up. I never start with the analog stick up. It's hard to start with it up, right? There we go. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Yes. Meatball spaghetti -o. Okay. Oh no, she's no longer doing the pre-wind properly. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we got this. Come on, Zoe, come on. Why isn't she pre-winding? Come on. We got this, we got this. Besides, we only need to qualify for this first heat anyways. But it is frustrating that she's not... Oh, and repeat, that's not good. Yeah, nine seconds. Don't care. Qualified. Yes. That's not gonna be good enough, though. Ooh, she hit the tree again. All right, 840k. Let's get it. Okay, no room for mistakes this time. No room for mistakes. Thing is, though, when I do make mistakes and when she doesn't do the pre-wind, I don't think I do anything differently, really. Ooh, look at that. Brightness effect. I was gonna say fog, but it's not really foggy, is it? Okay. Ripe Swiss cheese. Yes, yes. Big air. All the big air bonuses, please. No wipeouts. Just big air. Just give me the big air bonus. No, that's bad. Uh, what did I say about no wipeouts? Just give me the big air bonus. Okay, come on, come on, guys. Come on, get back up. 
This is where an uber trick or two really would have helped, but maybe they wouldn't? How much are the uber tricks worth in this game? I can't really know. Just due to the fact that... Um, I've only ever really successfully done one uber trick, and that was in part one. I haven't made a single successful uber trick since. And in such a high stakes event as this one, not risking it for a biscuit. Not doing it. Just not doing it. Never gonna happen. Okay, we are third now. Ah, oh, I had a feeling. I, you could tell from her stance there that that was not how she was supposed to be spinning. I wish I could control that though, because honestly, I can be flawless for an hour and then something like that happens and I don't quite understand. It's more prone to happen in the pipes though. Right. Okay, so we're gonna get second, but it should be enough to qualify. Oh right, this was only the second heat, right? Alright. So, if I can get a mill again, we can beat this. <laughs> Am I going to get a mill again? I don't know. Maybe if I do less combo grabs, but on the other hand, that's where you get the most points though. Focusing time is real, but at the same time, not that much focus is required for blur, really. I just throw the analog sticks in directions and try to think to not throw it in the same direction too many times in a row, because that's gonna be a repeat if I do. Okay, is that gonna be a repeat? It wasn't. Nice, okay. Something like this then, yes. And then something like this. Okay, we're third. If we get second, I'll take it. Okay, that was a repeat. That's, and this, okay, she has, she's doing the angle thing. Okay, good. Please don't do the angle thing again, Zoe. That was a really bad landing though. What? Ah, physics of the game. Making me lose my momentum. Okay, there we go. Is that enough for a second? It is just enough for a second. Nice, okay. I mean, in reality, there's not much of a point trying to uh, win now, is there? Like, even with a massive combo grab. Yeah. It was close! We achieved a new record. Continue. Yes! We did it! We unlocked Peak 3 on the rocks. History lesson. Ruthless. Congratulations to me! Good stuff! So that means we're officially done with Peak 2. So next time we're gonna be doing peak 3 and we're gonna finish peak 3 and then there's gonna be a bonus video. It depends on how long peak 3 is if I start to include bonus stuff in the next video or if it will be in the one after that. But once peak 3 is done we're gonna be doing the challenges against the other characters and we're gonna look into some of the tournaments as well that we haven't done. So plenty more of the game still to come. I'm not gonna be going for 100% though, because it's Blur. Who really wants to 100% Blur? Hmm, I guess never say never, but... But the way things are right now, kinda doubt it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully the Pig Free video should be up sometime next week. At least I hope so. Anyways, take care, thank you for watching, and peace out! <laughs>